Hello everybody. This time I would like to model the tip of a Phillips screwdriver. I start with a circle with 20 sides. Put it in the middle here and make this advanced open GL <coughs> and I make a radius of 4 millimeters and a height of one and here four as well. Put everything in the middle, hit the A key, perspective mode, then I select the top and the bottom poly and delete them. Okay, next I will select edges. from the top three, then I leave out two, then three again, then three again, and three again. By the way, I tried several different things till I came out with this one. And there are not many Phillips screwdriver tip tutorials on YouTube, so I thought I'd make one myself for Modo. So next I extrude these edges to about here. Shift click to reactivate the tool about the same distance again like so. Hit the R key on the green circle and bring this in to about so we can still change that later if it does not look right. Drop the tool, select all these edges here, go to Action Center Local, hit the R key and bring them in to about here, just a bit wider than the top of the tip. Go to Top View, stay on Action Center Local now and bring it in on the Y. Then go to Action Center Automatic Green Circle and bring these edges out to the basic shape of the circle. Drop the tool, stay in top view. <coughs> Zoom in here and make another circle with 20 edges, maybe so. Let's see, 0.5 millimeters and 0.5, sounds about good. Then I select this uh, polygon, hit the B key, bevel it in once so I can see where the edges are drop the tool. <coughs> now select this new polygon and bring it up to the top here. Select all these edges or words, doesn't really matter. Hit the R key again and equal them out here. Now we can start um, bridging this. I do bridge it and not directly connect the points. You will see later this gives a really nice advantage if you are hardening edges. So select these polygons, then hit the bridge. Do the same here. Drop the two. Ah, uh, come on. Bridge. Again, now I select these, not that one, bridge again, and the last. And bridge. Okay, now we must bridge these. <coughs> So I select these two and these two, 
bridge. Bridge. I'm not quite happy about the way I'm doing this because there is quite a lot of repetitive work. I tried to do it on a quarter of the model, <coughs> but uh, that was not very successful, I must admit. So, I hope you're not getting bored. Okay, select these new polygons now. Try not to get any others. Hit the Alt C with a count of one. <coughs> now I go to top view, hit the R key, action center is automatic, and I bring these in till they're almost as far out as the middle piece. Maybe so. Drop the two. <clears throat> now we can select all these polygons or edges rather and hit the P key to fill them in. Next we must connect these edges around here so I take C and go to Edge Slice, Shift C, release the Shift key, Shift C, release the Shift key, Shift key, release the Shift key, and so on. So we should be round, yes. Now I have created triangles. This can easily be fixed by selecting this edge here, then this one, this one, and this one, and Alt-C and throw in an edge. Now we have quads. Okay. <coughs> Next thing is we must harden some edges. First, this part here is way too weak. So I go to bevel uh, with a round level of zero and click in the viewport, bevel this in just a bit. Let's see how this looks. Looks much better already. Now you will see <coughs> the good thing about why I didn't directly connect the words up here. So we can get a loop around here I will show you. So go to Edge, Add Loop, and you see it makes a loop around the entire thing which is very nice. So that starts to look really really good. Let's do something about this here. Hit the bevel key again on the red handle bevel it in. Drop the tool shift up arrow twice then hit the W key move it up shift down arrow move it up a bit and shift down arrow again and move it up a bit more. This does not look right so let's go to the side view, go out and cut in with shift C, a slice through here to hold this edge a bit better. <coughs> 
Now let's see how it looks. That looks much better. Okay, last thing we can do is we can select this edge here, hit the W key, bring it down, then select select these two edges, then go to the right view and select these two edges, and then hit the W key and bring them down like so. And here we go. This is our <clears throat> this is our Phillips screwdriver tip. I will rotate it ninety degrees. Get rid of the grid and use reflection. And that's it. So, thanks again for watching. All the very best, take care, and have fun modeling with Modo. As usual, I will leave this picture on for a while so I can select it as the thumbnail when I upload to YouTube. Thanks again, take care, see you another time. Bye bye.